record means what consider a customer structure customer is having name salary name uh, id address with it if you have created any structure of that customer then one structure variable is nothing but a one record of that type customer once customers record your storing then you you are reading from file in this way record based io is possible with the help of that app print app and app scan app for text files we can use that app print app and app scan app but let i want to store some data in binary mode and again record based io i want to do with binary files then we can use their app read and app write functions app read function we can use to read a record from file and app write function we can use to write record to a file record record is nothing but you can consider one struct student then student is having roll number let integer r n o then student is having name its character array will be there like char name of 20 in this way student may have information with it this one variable of this structure struct student let it is s1 that is nothing but one record you can say you can again create array of this student structure that is nothing but collection of multiple records if you want to write one record to the file then it is possible with the help of we have seen already that app print app how we can use that app print app here like app print app then here we will pass that app let the pointer is app file pointer is app then format string we will pass first one is integer that is roll number percent e then percent s and here we will write that rno s1 dot rno and second one is let s1 dot name in this way we can write contents means one record to the file with the help of this app printer but this is for text file only that all the information whatever you are writing with the help of app printer function inside a file that will be in a text format let roll number is a three digit then it will take three bytes for storage but actually a three digit number will take only two bytes let your storing address your storing a uh, telephone number then it will take too much space if you are storing in a text mode textual format instead of that best way is to store that numerical data in a binary format and for that we have to use a read function and a write function means to read data from file we can use a read data in the form of records one by one records or multiple records at the same time you can read with the help of this a read function and a write is to write contents to the file we will open file in binary mode for using this a read and a write getting how to use let us see see the first one is a write this function we can use to write a record to the file or you can also write multiple records at the same time to the file let you have created array of that structure student that is holding information about let five students as of five you have created then you can store the whole five records all the five records at the same time inside a file with the help of this f write function again you can store record by record means one record at a time also you can store inside a file again keep in mind this separate and upright function we will use in a binary mode getting okay? how to use that just first see the syntax here the first argument is address of that variable where we have stored that record its address we have to pass as a first argument that is of type void star why because uh, it may be of any data type getting that's why that is a generic pointer it is of type void star again you can use the same f write function to write whole array whole integer array again then address of that integer array that is nothing but array name that we have to pass over here and that's why the first argument is of type void star getting here i am writing location pointer i am writing location pointer now the second argument is nothing but uh, size of that record you have to pass size here and the data type is size t let s said 
that is nothing but size of a record here size t is a data type actually size t represents unsigned integer that is a predefined macro unsigned integer means what it will be always positive sign is not there means you cannot pass here any negative value of course whatever size of uh, that record whatever you want to store inside a file that will be always positive value then third how many records you want to store that is number of records is again a non negative and last one is of course file pointer getting this is nothing but syntax of using f write function to write record to a file now see the syntax here function name is f write then here whatever record where you have stored that record its address you have to pass as a first argument that is void star why because data type is not not in in advance that's why here that this will be the generic pointer next one is here size of that record you have to pass over here here we are going to use that size of operator next one is size t number of records number of records means how many records you want to write to the file and the last one is file pointer you have to pass as a last argument that will represent that file where you are going to store that information or those records you are where you are going to write now and this function is returning one integer value now how many records it has successfully returned this function has successfully returned to the file that number of records it will return that's why the return type is integer if it has not written any uh, record in, into the file then it will return of course zero value getting this is the syntax of a write function now i'm going to explain how to use this to write to the file see for example here we will create one structure first like struct let student and then here that student structure is having two attributes like the first one is two members let first one is student roll number for that integer r you know and second one is student name suppose for that we will declare one character array having size 20 this is student structure now i want to create one variable of that type how to create simple struct student here let s1 and here i am just assigning uh, values to the members of for this variable let r you know i want to i want the troll number is 1 and let name is ashok see i have this s1 and s1 is having this information with it now s1 represents one record of that student type you can also create multiple records you can also accept information about that s1 student that is what is the roll number and what is the name that again you can accept from user and then you can write to the file but here i have assigned at the time of declaration now how to write this s1 record to the file with the help of this f write function that we have to see first we have to create that file pointer okay means we will create first that file and for that we will declare one file pointer and we will open that file in write mode how see first file star here i am writing file star let fp and with the help of that f open function we will create file like fp equals to f open and let file name is stud dot dat dat extension we will give here because it will be the binary file and then here comma in a write mode we have to open that file wb compulsory why because binary binary uh, file that's why we have to write here wb now we have open that file on successful execution fp will be not null if fp is equal to equal to null then we have to give message to the user like file opening failed otherwise we can say that now file has successfully created now we can write contents to the file with the help of that f write function now how to write let us see here i am writing again let f write now see first argument is a location pointer where that record has stored now here in s1 we have that record and we can pass now address of that s1 here as a first argument we have to pass here address and that's why here there is a pointer variable because pointer variable is only capable of holding address we know whenever we are passing addresses then in a function 
definition or means in that function header there is a pointer variable now here we will pass that address of that s1 that is because s1 is holding that record only one record i am writing to the file here now next one is the second one is size of that record simple we can use here size of operator like size of that s1 we can write size of s1 or we can also write size of that struct student both are same both will give you same value now next one is again that number of records how many records here only one record i am writing to the file that's why i will pass third argument as a one and next one is in which file you are going to write this in this stud.dat file but in this student file you are writing contains but here we will not pass file name we will pass here file pointer that is fp here fp this is how we can use a write function to write contents to the file in binary mode we can write one record into the file get it now let you are you are having array of integers and that you want to write to the file the full array the gain that is possible how let us see see here let we have declared one array like integer x of 5 initially we are assigning some values to this let uh, 1 11 12 13 9 and 5 now this is a array this is integer array and i want to write the whole array at a time into the file if you want to store multiple records at the same time again that is possible now f write now here let the file is uh, one more file pointer i am declaring here let file star fp and opening file let number dot that number is a name of file then how we can write let fp2 is a file pointer i am considering here now f write now see here first we have to pass address here address is only x because this is array name array name itself holds its base address next one is size of that array we have to pass here that's why i will write here let size of here one integer if we are writing then that will be the size of only one element of that array we we how to pass or here size of whole array how we can write here size of let we can write integer into 5 because i know we know the size of that array again we can also write here size of that whole array that is x getting now next one is here next argument we have to pass like how many records you are storing here number of elements are one array only one array we are storing and next one is we have to pass here fp to that file pointer in this way we can write whole array to the file with the help of this f write function we can also write here size of x means it will give you the size of whole array getting in this way we can write whole array to the file with the help of f write function now just see f read function how to use that to read a record from file or multiple records at the same time from file see here f read function that we can use to read records from a file from binary file getting now how, what is the syntax here syntax is like again same thing is it is return in integer value integer value that is nothing but number of rec records this function has successfully read from file that is the return type then next one is f read that is the name of the function now here again same thing it is the syntax is just like f write function here first void star pointer that is see that is a constant pointer it will not be changed const void star this is a location pointer again after reading where you want to store that record that you have to mention its address you have to pass over here as a first argument then second argument is nothing but size of that record again same thing size t is there that is nothing but size of that record then next one is number of records that is size t again number of records and then comma here you have to pass file pointer file star fp this is the syntax of the read function here first where you want to store that information or that record after reading its address you have to pass as a first argument then second argument is size of that record how many number of records you want to read at a time 
and here from which file that file pointer you have to pass over here as a last fourth argument now how to use this see we have already created that student dot stud dot dat file inside that we have written one record of that student type i want to read that record then we can use this fread function how to use let us see again we have to declare that file pointer like file star fp fp equals to f open here file name is stud dot dat again same thing stud dot dat then comma in a read mode in binary reading binary file then for that rb mode we will use now let i want to read that record from file then we can use this fread function for that we have to declare that again that same structure let we have declared struct student and it is having that roll number and name now that student structures one variable we have to create here like struct stud student and let here s1 in this s1 variable i want to store data about that student f read then here first argument is location address where you are storing up that record after reading that address we have to pass over here we have that s1 variable its address we will pass as a first argument then size of that record that is nothing but size of that s1 you can write here or size of struct student you can write anything here as a second argument let struct student then here next one is next argument is how many records one record i am reading from file and from which file that is fp is a pointer to that file stored dot that getting this is how we can read contents from file now yes one is now having whatever that first record present inside that file that we have read and that uh, data is present now in s1 that we can display onto the output screen with the help of printf like printf slash n roll number is equal to percent d then some space i am giving and name equals to percent s let then we can write like s1 dot rno comma s1 dot name in this way we can display whatever contents we have read from that stud.dat file that record we can display with the help of printf now getting in this way we can use f read function to read contents from file read record from binary file getting is f read and f write functions are used for direct writing or direct reading from file means a chunk of bytes is present onto the ram in some variable and that whole chunk of byte we can write to the file at the same time we can read from file at one go getting and that is possible with the help of that f read and f write function let we have array of that structure s of 2 s of 0 and s of 1 these are the two elements we can write contents from that structure array with the help of that f write function very easily whole array getting let us see one example with the help of this f write and f read function let we have de declared here one student structure roll number and name these are the members of this structure now i want to declare one array of this structure having two elements in it and that i want to write to the file and same data i am again reading from file and displaying onto the output screen this is the program now let us see how to do this here struct student s of 2 means here i am creating array of structure and initializing it the first student will have roll number one and name soham second student will have roll number two and name amol for file handling again we have to create that file pointer i have opened that file in write mode and of course here it is in binary mode now stud.dat is the name of the file and i am opening that file in write mode because i am going to write these contents to the file right now see after opening that file if fp is null that means there is something wrong and we cannot open that file we cannot create that file that's why we have uh, given here message like cannot create file and stop if fp is not equal to null means fine everything is fine now file has opened properly now this two records one by one i am writing to the file with the help of f write function for that i have placed here loop and here f write address of s of i address of s of i means this records address we have to pass here as a first argument location 
Second, size of that record. How many records? One record in which file? FP, where FP is pointing in that file I am writing. And this uh, statement will work two times. First for S of 0 and then S of 1. These two records will get written to the file using this one. Instead of that, we can use again this one. That whole array we can write at the same time. First argument will be the name of array because itself uh, array name holds base address. That's why S will hold address of that whole array that we can pass as a location. The next one is size of that whole array. And then one array I am writing to the file and FP is a file pointer. If this is again possible. Or we can use uh, two records from this array one by one. In that way also we can uh, write here like S. I want to write this whole array. But here I have mentioned like size of S of 0. S of 0 means only this size, this, this number of elements it will write to the file. First this will write, it will write this part and then this part as in this way two times it will do that task. Getting a bit and for that we have to write only one app write statement in this way. Getting means this one, this one, this one. You can write anything to do this task to write these two records to the file with the help of app write function. After that, to we have to close that file because now we are writing to that file. And app close app will close that file, will uh, clear all the contents from that buffer, whatever used while writing. Now we have to open that file for reading. That's why again we have opened that file in R mode, RB mode. And now we have to read whole array at a time with the help of app read function. First argument is name of array that is nothing but address, location. Size of that as means size of that whole array. How many number of records? Here consider array as a record that is one and app is a file pointer or again you can uh, use that f read function like in you can uh, call that f read function you can place that f read in that in loop also that's why we will read one by one record with the help of this f read function now here it's just s is having now hold the contents whatever contents read from that file and the, those we can display with the help of printf function by placing this printf function in a loop because there are two records in that array one by one we will display onto the output screen and after displaying we will close that file getting 